Listen up, class. I need you to join me on my run to London with Digicel. Take a photo of yourself running in one of these poses. To find out more, visit the Digicel Facebook page. Remember, not this pose. This pose is mine. as well as my friends, because last year, Win FM 98.9, how many of you are familiar with the radio station? Oh, we have a big fan base at Irish Town. I like that. I like that. I must tell the, the manager. Okay, we had a competition last year. We have it every year, actually. It's called the Win FM Christmas Short Story Competition. It's very unique because there are not many local competitions that put an emphasis on writing. But because we are a radio station, we understand how important reading and writing are to children. And so we have this competition every year. We open it up to children. It used to be from grades from ages 8 to 11. And we used to have a winner and runners up. But after a meeting with principals of the primary schools, we made some changes. So instead of grades ages 8 to 11, it changed to grades 4, 5, and 6. And what we said we would do is remove runners up altogether. So last year we had three winners. We didn't have a runner up, uh, two runners up and a winner. We had three winners. There was a winner from grade four, a winner from grade five, and a winner from grade six. So, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> I'm here because there's a winner from the Irish Town Primary School. We had several entries from the Irish Town Primary School and we are really, really appreciative of the school's effort in participating because around that time the schools have a lot going on and some schools weren't able to participate. So we really, really were happy that we got entries from the Irish Town Primary School. And so much so that one of you, the students from this school won and her name is Melissa Coote from grade 6. She is the grade 6 winner. So Melissa. I need you to come forward for me, please. Melissa impressed the judges with her story entitled, The Boy Who Wanted a Christmas Tree. Now, Melissa, could you tell me, how did you come up with the title and the idea for the story? I'm interested in knowing. Oh, she's a writer. She's not much of a talker. That's okay. You'll write it down for me later? Yeah? Okay. Okay, so Melissa, for winning, as the grade 6 winner, we have a number of prizes for you. But first, I'll call the representative. We have a representative from one of the business places. Because even though things are getting harder and harder economically, business places still came on board because they know how important it is for life that children are able to write well. So we have a representative from Harper's, and they, he's going to be handing over a certificate, a gift voucher, sorry, so that when you're ready to go to high school next year, you can get your school supplies from Harper's. And he's also going to be handing over a notepad because we want to encourage you to continue writing, okay? So. Hi, good morning. Um, we at Harper's Office Depot I want to thank Melissa um, quote for representing Irish Town Primary School. We want to congratulate her for, for winning. Um, and we hope that Irish Town wins again next year. Um, Harper's Office Depot is a one stop shop for all the school and our supplies. We're located on the corner of Fort and Princess Street. So, once again, congratulations. So we also have for you a trophy for Melissa so that she will be able to remember this occasion for the rest of her life and so that when she gets old and she's encouraging her children to write, she can come out and say, see, I wrote so well, I actually won a prize. <laughs> 
Okay? This was donated by Warner's One Stop. Warner's comes on board every year to assist us with the trophies and the plaques for the school. Digicel also came on board, and in this little bag, this Digicel bag, is an Alcatel One Touch phone, Melissa, a Digicel cap, as well as a couple of other gifts for you. Okay? Nice. Also, <laughs> Also, there's a, an educational store called Staff Smart. It's located on Kayon Street. It's next to the police station. And they are giving you an educational CD. It's a software that will help you with your schoolwork for high school. And they're also giving you this Twister game because everybody knows Twister is just so much fun. And you can't be all the time in your books, right? You have to have some fun sometimes, right? Right. Additionally, Melissa, there is a snacket located on Kayon Street as well. And this snacket usually serves lunch to school children. And they believe that school children really need to focus on the work. And those who do should be rewarded. So in this envelope is $100 from Cassiana Snacket located on Kayon Street. And for the school, for Mrs. Body, we have this rotational plaque that will stay at the Irish Town Primary School for the entire year until next the next competition. It says Win FM 98.9 Christmas Short Story Competition, Grade 6 winner. And on the first plate, it has Melissa Coot, Irish Town Primary School 2011. So anybody who comes here knows that Irish Town Primary is Congratulations. Additionally, we we weren't able to get everybody something, but what we do sometimes is because we get so many entries, we want to encourage other children to keep writing. And the judges this year were able to highlight some other children who did well as also. So we call them special mentions, where the, the essay, the story was really, really good, but they weren't able to, you know, place. So this year, one of the special mentions came from the Irish Town Primary School, grade six, Juliana Pemberton, is she here? Yes. Juliana. A Christmas story, a lovely Christmas dinner, and we just want to encourage Melissa to continue Juliana. the good, Juliana, sorry, to continue the good work. You impress the judges. So if for any reason Melissa had gotten disqualified, you would have been the great <laughs> So having said that, I anticipate that when you go to high school, any other competition that comes up, you will be participating, right? Do you like writing? Yeah? Okay, thank you so much. Your principal has given me a suggestion uh, because we didn't have prizes for the, the special mention, so you should be getting something from WinFM shortly. Okay? All right. So, having said that, I want to thank you guys so much for your attention. Thank you for allowing us this time during your assembly. I hope you enjoy your holidays. And I want to say congratulations to all the houses because I understand your, your sports has come to an end. Yes, and we're having house parties. House today. parties today, so should I stay for some, some yes. of the treats? Yes? yes? You guys are just awesome. You guys are awesome. Who's the winning house? Red! Red? Yes. Congratulations. But what happened to Green? Yes.